Hungarian folk tales. The man with the heart of stone. Once upon a time, in a distant land beyond the hills, there lived a poor old woman who had three handsome sons. One day, the young men decided to set out in search of maidens from other lands to take as wives, for in their village, they found not a single one to their liking. And as they rambled and rambled, their path took them through a vast forest, where they saw a small cottage and went inside. Blessings of the Lord on you, old man, said the youths. Would you give us lodging for the night? I will gladly give you lodging. So the young men stayed for the night, and in the morning the old man said, Good men, your path has brought you to me, and when you return, it will bring you to my home again. I gave you shelter, and in return I ask that you bring me a beautiful maiden whom I can take to be my wife. The three young men thought, a young maiden for this old man, the greybeard can barely hobble along. But they kept these thoughts to themselves and tried to hide their laughter. The three youths travelled to distant lands as they had planned and entered into the service of the king. The king had three beautiful, strong daughters. The youths served so well and fought so bravely that the king grew fond of them. So he gave them his daughters to be their wives. With great joy, the youths brought their wives home, but on their way, they had to cross through the vast forest where the old man lived. When they came to his cottage, they greeted him. Blessings of the Lord on you, old man. Blessings of the Lord on you. You were gone for a long time. I see you have found yourselves lovely wives. But where, pray tell, is my maiden to wed? The young men said, we did not bring you a maiden to wed. You did not bring me a maiden to wed? Then I will turn you all to stone, and only one maiden will remain to be my wife. And as he spoke, the young men and the two girls turned to stone. One maiden remained, whom he kept by his side. She swept, cooked, and cried all day. One day the old man was in very high spirits. The maiden said to him, Kind old man, why did you turn them to stone? Because my heart is made of stone too. And where is your stone heart? It is there, between the bedsheets. The old man left the cottage and went wandering in the forest. The maiden picked dozens of flowers and wove a beautiful garland, which she placed on the bed. In the evening, when the old man returned, he began to laugh and cackle. Why did you put that garland on the sheets? Because I wanted your stone heart to know joy, so I made a lovely garland. The old man laughed heartily. I can see you are a kind-hearted girl. You thought my stone heart was in the bedsheets, did you not? Ah, but it is not. Then tell me where it is, kind old man, the maiden pleaded. Listen closely. In the middle of the vast forest, there is a huge rock. And in the rock, there is a little bird. And my heart is in that little bird. If someone smashes the rock, catches the bird, and takes from it my heart, then I will have my heart again. The girl sank into thought. Oh, Lord, what man can do that? Many years passed, and the poor old woman was still waiting for her three sons to return home. She thought surely they had died, and another son was born to her, and he grew up to a boy 12 years of age. Dear mother, he said one day, do I have neither brothers nor sisters? With great sorrow in her voice, the old woman told him that he had had three brothers, and they had travelled to distant lands in search of maidens to marry, but they had never returned. Well, he said, prepare me for the trip, and I will set out to find them. The poor woman gave her youngest son food for the trip, and, weeping bitter tears, she bid him farewell. He set out on his way, and after he had travelled far, he sat down to eat and said, Anyone who is hungry, come join me. Suddenly a ram with tremendous horns on its head came out from the forest. You summoned me, young man. I am here. The young man treated the ram to a feast. And when they had eaten their fill, the ram said, Take a hair of mine, and should you find yourself in danger, I will come to your aid. 
the young man continued on his way and eventually sat down to eat once more and said, Is there anyone here? For I have a little food left. And a dove alighted on his shoulder. Come and eat with me. Take a feather of mine, and should you find yourself in danger, I will come to your aid. The young man continued on his way, and he eventually found himself at the cottage where the stone-hearted man lived. So he knocked on the door, but the man wasn't at home, only his wife. Good evening, and what brings you to this distant place, young man? The young man replied, I set out to see distant lands and you. Do you live alone in this little cottage? I am not alone, replied the maiden. An old man lives here too, but now he's wandering in the forest. And then the maiden spoke of her grief, of the men and the maidens turned to stone statues. And she also spoke of how the old man could get his heart back. The young man set out to find the great rock. And when he came upon it, he sighed. If only that battering ram were here, he would smash this rock for me. And magically, the ram appeared and butted the rock once, twice with his tremendous horns and smashed it to pieces. Now all I need is the dove to catch the little bird, he sighed. And magically, the dove alighted again on his shoulder and there and then it caught the little bird. The youth took it in his hand and returned to the cottage. And as he approached, the old man said to the maiden, Oh, my dear girl, I do not know what is happening to me, but I feel great warmth and my chest seems to beat again. And as the youth drew close to the cottage, the old man began to shed tears. Old man, I bring you back your heart. The old man put the heart of the little bird where his heart once had been, and it beat again as it had beaten before. Then the maiden spoke. Now, old man, bring those statues back to life. Let them know joy again. The old man brought them back to life, they paid him thanks, embraced one another, and set off homeward bound. They celebrated with a huge wedding feast, and they all lived happily ever after.